it is Saturday. Um, it's late. I finished with work. It's 5 12. Um, today felt like super long, but I'm I actually got off like 30 minutes earlier than I usually do, so I guess it just felt like that because I think I had six six appointments today. Yeah, I had six appointments today. Um, a hybrid fill, classic fill, two brow laminations, a hybrid fill, and then a brow shaping. So, yeah, I am happy to be going home. But first, I have to stop at the grocery store to get um. Today is Pepper's first birthday, so I'm gonna make her a little cat cake, and I wanna get a little one candle um, to make her a cake. And then I also need to get, I wanna get some sun-dried tomato pesto, um, and possibly some red pasta sauce. I haven't decided on that yet, but I'm going to make lobster ravioli. And usually I make lobster ravioli with a white cream sauce. Like basically almost like an Alfredo, almost. Um, but I kind of want to try to make a red sauce with it, but, mix, but still put some heavy cream in it. So it'll be like creamy red sauce. I don't know. I'm just winging shit, so... I just don't want to get, I'm not, I don't want to get spaghetti sauce. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, I'm honestly debating on just getting, like, a tomato paste or tomato sauce, you know? Like, just the tomato paste or just the tomato sauce in the can and using that. Because I really don't want, I don't want it to give spaghetti. That's not the vibe I'm going for. So I will up oh, pothole. Um, I will maybe talk to y'all later. We'll see. But tomorrow we're going skydiving. So I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna get the video package to insert. I'm going to get the video package, so I'll have video footage of um, my jump. So hopefully I'll be able to put that in here. But yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Say, looks like you're ready. Okay, you got your harness on. We got the plane on. Okay. Hopefully, I grab the parachute in a second. We'll be going at 10,000 feet and jumping out. You ready for that? Okay. Is she nervous? <laughs> no. I don't know. Not nervous. Dying. She's nervous. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before we go, last thing. You want to say anything to the people watching at home? Uh, wish me luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Please. All right. Well, in that case, give me five. We'll see you up there. Got to fight for my arms. Yeah, and my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wondering all day. Try to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind will it leave me. Try to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind. My mind is running. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Starting to give up my pain. I really need, I really need my love, yeah. 
nothing for the money, cause... <laughs> you jumped Woo! out of a plane, girl. Yes. How was it? Amazing. Oh, amazing. All right. Wow. Well, all the amazing fun is not over yet, all right? Okay. When we come back. I want to see how well you fly this thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shit. I, I have to do it. <laughs> all right, girl. Here you are flying this thing. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, how is it? this bumpy ride that's for sure it is Tuesday if my car looks weird in the background I girl I've been on a journey trying to get all the um, pieces to the pack system that I'm trying to put together in the new house and if y'all know anything about Ikea's packs systems girl everything be out of stock like everything and so I've been hassling the website setting up for notifications every time something like a piece that I need comes in the stock and of course the last frame that I needed comes in the stock but I didn't know if, if it could fit in my car because the last time that I ordered the first time I ordered three of the frames and my boyfriend's mom helped me because she has a bigger car like she has like a SUV so that was easy peasy. Then the second time something came into um, stock, I just got it delivered because I was I was getting the shelves and like a couple of the clothes rails. They were also available for delivery. So I just got it delivered and just chalked the $50 delivery, which I hate, but it is what it is. Um, and then now this time I wasn't paying another $50 for delivery for one frame. I'm not like it's a hundred and twenty five dollar item. I'm not about to pay a hundred and seventy five plus tax for it. Like I'll basically be paying two hundred dollars for the smallest frame that IKEA has. I'm not doing that. So y'all, I got to it. I went in my junkie trunk. I took everything out. I put all my seats down, took off the headrest, and y'all it fit. Thank God. But we just put it in the house last night. So, um, yeah, I wasn't fixing my car up when it's dark outside. Like, that can wait. So, if you see a mess in the background, that's why. Um, I'm waiting on one last piece for that, for the closet system to be done. And it's a damn, literally all a clothes rail. Like, the smallest item, a $15 item, is literally what's holding this whole process up. And it has no expectancy date. Of when it's gonna be back in stock so I'm just hoping and praying because I can't be restocking stuff randomly so I'm just hoping and praying it comes back into stock because it's literally the one last piece that I need anywho it's Tuesday I haven't even picked up the camera since Saturday y'all but Sunday we went skydiving it was amazing I'm Probably, I'm probably gonna insert the footage because we got the video package. So I'll probably, you'll probably see that before this. But y'all, it was so amazing. I would a hundred thousand percent do that again. Oh no, it's traffic. Damn it. But yeah, that was amazing. Um, yesterday, like I said, I, I, I went and did the, um, Got the piece from Ikea. Um, I like cleaned up sporadically, but it was really nothing to like film, honestly. I actually went to TJ Maxx and y'all, I went in there. I had the idea that I was gonna return this sweater I bought from there because I just started looking at it like, why did I buy that? So I was gonna, I wanted to return that, but I really desperately needed silverware. So, cause you know, 
forks and spoons be growing feet and, and walking away. Um, and I actually went in there, returned it, and really only bought the silverware. So I was proud of myself for that. Um, what else did I do? I went to Turn 7, which is like a liquidation store that we have here, where they sell a whole bunch of like um, Target threshold products that are being liquidated by Target. Like they're just no longer selling it or keeping it in stock. Um, just a bunch of like home stuff, toys, blah, blah, blah. Um, I went in there looking for furniture because they be having furniture pieces, like actual Target furniture in there. And they didn't really have anything. So I literally walked in, did a whole little walk around and walked right out. Like, it was nothing in there. Um, what else did I do yesterday? But yeah, I think that was really it. Like, I came in the house and I just showed for the rest of the day. Yeah, so. I'm. You know, Tuesdays are always a drag for me. Like, coming off with being off for two days, I don't be feeling like going to work on a Tuesday. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It just. I don't be feeling like it. Oh, I was supposed to be getting my lashes done this morning, and I had canceled my appointment on Saturday because I was going skydiving and I on Sunday, and I was afraid that my lashes wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, I have enough for a fill. So just because I didn't wanna like, I didn't know what to expect, I just canceled it. And then literally, didn't end up losing any lashes like at all because they gave us these little goggles so um yeah but I'm just I think think I might want to like just take a break from lashes like not for any particular reason it's just like just because and I also want to I want to start um get back on a growth serum for my lashes and then I'm like potentially might do a lash lift I've never had a lash lift before but my lashes are like I would say medium to long they're not super long lashes but I just kind of want to see like what I would look like with a lash lift so I don't know we'll see I may never even do that I may just rock out or I may just book another appointment but yeah, I kind of just want to fresh, if I do get lashes again, I just want to fresh set, like start completely over. Um, but yeah, that's it, I'm on my way to work. I have three appointments today, two hybrid fills and a hybrid set. So I shouldn't, it shouldn't be long. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all later probably. Today is, what's today? Um, damn, what's, what's today? Wednesday, y'all. Today is Wednesday. I'm done with work now. Today was just a um, back-to-back -back day. I did finish like 30 minutes early. Um, thank goodness. But... Yeah, y'all, I had, what did I have today? I had, uh, um, I can't even remember who I saw this morning. That's how, like, out of it I am. I, okay, I had a classic fill this morning, then a hybrid full set, a classic fill again, and then a volume full set. Y'all, doing two full sets in a day takes me out. I don't like it. Like, it gives very much out of it exhausted my brain is fried by then um so yeah and on top of that every everybody except my very first client my very first client was a little late thank god because i was running behind anyways but girl the next three clients they all came early 
Like, as soon as the, the, the person walked out, the next one was walking in. I'm like, good God, I can't catch a break. So, that was that. Um, thank God I finished my last one 30 minutes early because I wasn't originally supposed to even be finishing her until 5.30, which means I wouldn't have been leaving until like 5.45, but I'm just glad I got it done and I'm out for the day. I'm off tomorrow, thank God. Um, I'm getting my nails done in the morning and I think I want to come here tomorrow after I get my nails done because it's not that far. Um, and hang the lights up and maybe hang some pictures up. We'll see. Um, if so, I'll have to place like an order with staples to have them print out all the like prints I bought. Like the wall art I bought. Um, I'll have to have them print that out before I come here. So... I'm about to leave y'all. I will probably see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday. It's not dark. Just a little. Alright. I hope I'm not dark, but um I'm on my way to get my nails done. It's Thursday. It's kind of raining outside, so sorry if y'all hear my loud windshield wipers. But what was I coming out here to say? Okay, so I'm getting my nails done. I'm praying to God that I know my uh, nail artist has chrome, but I don't know if she has green chrome, but I'm so hoping she does because like what? I love that. Green is my favorite color, y'all. So I'm really hoping she got some type of something similar. Even if she got to mix the powders together, like I'm alright with that. But um, what was I gonna say? So, oh, after we do nails, I'm going to. I really want to go to the shop and hang up those wall sconces just to get it out the way but they're just taking up space on the floor in the closet at this point um so i brought my drill to do that and then i didn't get i have some old pictures that i could put up on the wall but i don't think i want to put them up on a the wall like i want more of a um sophisticated look and like a more elevated look and those ones they're cute like don't get me wrong i still like them they're cute but they're more like fun and like colorful like more I don't want to say childish it's, it's not childish it's just like more cute and I don't want it to be cute I want it to be like nice does that make sense I hope so so I don't know which ones of the old photos that I have that I'm gonna that I'm going to keep so I might just hang up the sconces and then rock out and just leave now I do want to go to Ikea because I need to look for a bathroom cabinet, like an over the toilet cabinet. The one that sits on the wall, like not the stand ones. Like I don't want that look. Cause the legs just be ugly to me. So I wanna look for a cabinet like that. Like just see what they have on display. And if they have it in stock, I'll buy it if I like something. But, um, and then a mirror as well for the bathroom. Um, for the same exact bathroom. A mirror for over the sink and then a cabinet for over the toilet and oh I also want to go sit on their couch like I saw this couch on Ikea I've been looking for like an L-shaped couch but our living room is not that big so all the previous couches that I had been saving like to my favorites they're too big so um, we had to scrap all of those and now we're looking for a smaller couch that's still l-shaped that's still a good size like i don't want no really small couch but um i saw one at ikea online and it's not in stock but i just want to see if it's in the showroom so i can sit on it and see what it feels like because i don't know anybody that has an ikea couch so i want to make sure like it's going to be soft or like good quality hold up blah 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 you know so i want to go test that and then 
honestly, that might be it for the day. Hey y'all, I'm back. These are the new nails. I was originally going for um, this green. I'll show y'all. But we couldn't make it work. She didn't have the green. But that's what I was originally going for, that metallic green color. But the gold is cute too. It's giving Cleopatra. Um, but I definitely think it's gonna grow on me. So I just made it to work and I'm about to, plus I work like I'm actually working. I'm not working today, but I'm gonna try to hang the wall sconces and then I just remembered it's Thursday. I have neighbors, like another office next to me that we share a wall. So I didn't really take that into consideration when I thought about the fact that I would be drilling into the wall that we share, making a bunch of noise, which I don't want to do, but I'm already here. And I didn't waste my time coming here. So I'm going to see if I can do it without a drill first and see if I can just do it with a um, screwdriver. Hopefully I can. And then... We're off to Ikea, so. Is it me? Do they look even or no? I feel like one of them looks higher than the other, but. Well, I tried to measure it, so if it ain't even, oh well, the holes is in the wall already, so. It's cute, right? Is it cute? With some pictures in between? Child, the hose is in the wall. That's it. There's no, no turning back at this point. Um, anywho, that's it, y'all. I gotta clean up so I can go. I'm talking. Actually, I went to Ikea, y'all seen that. I didn't buy anything though because I wasn't like sold on anything that was on display. Um, and so I was just like, man, I'll go home and I'll look online or something. Like nothing was really like um, catching my eye. So then after Ikea, I went to Five Below cause it's right next to it and I was looking for this Bluetooth speaker I seen on TikTok. That's like a Bluetooth speaker in the table in the in in a table. And I just thought that would be so cute for like our closet when we're getting ready and you can like you know just play music while you're getting ready. Um so they didn't have that. The lady told me that they don't get that many in um at a time so they always sell out, but right now oh so then i went home well actually i went to chick-fil-a girl tore that food up tore that food up girl and 
Then I came home, I was tired, so I took a nap. Then I just, um, I just recently woke up because I'm on my way to the gym. Not to work out, though. I'm on my way to the gym because I am getting a gym membership. It's settled. Um, there is a LA Fitness, like really close to my house. So I've decided I'm gonna join the gym and my whole goal is to be able to take, why am I sitting here? Um, my whole goal is to be able to take their classes because with the membership you get unlimited classes and they have um, yoga, which I'm mostly interested in. They have mat Pilates. Um, and they have air aerobics i think that's what it's called like the water workout classes where you work out in the pool um they have all the dance classes some other um boot camp style classes the like high intensity interval training classes like they have a bunch of classes and that's what i'm more so looking forward to like i'm not really interested in doing like lifting or anything like that because I'm just trying to get comfortable with just being in the gym and getting a routine of like going. So I feel like yoga is a good place to start. <laughs> um, and mainly because I feel like I, I need to be moving my body. I need to be more active. Like I sit down at work all day or I hunch over at work all day and then I come home and I sit on the couch or I lay in the bed. So I'm not really being active and it shows. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting with the manager girl because he was all hype over, over the phone trying to get me to pay within like the first minute of the conversation like can i come see the gym can i tour it like i need details sweetie so that's what i'm gonna go do and then i'm debating if i want to go to the grocery store when i'm done i don't know it's ugly outside but i also want to my best friend is coming in town to to turn back there um, my best friend is coming into town this weekend and I want to make sure that we have um, you know like breakfast foods and stuff ready to eat when we get up in the morning so yeah I think I will I probably will stop at the store but I, I do have some stuff that I want to do like around the house before I gotta like get ready for bed. So I will talk to y'all later. I'm about to pull into the gym now. So yeah, I will see y'all when I get home. That was easy y'all. I'm in and out girl, got the membership. So catch me in the gym. It's like, no, my goal is to um go to at least one class a week starting out just so that way i'm getting my money's worth because it's 50 dollars. it's not that much but that way if i go once a week that means i'm paying like 12.50 for oh yeah 12.50 for um each class which is not bad you know when you break it down like that and then hopefully i can get to two times a week and like definitely i would love to go i want to be realistic and i don't think i will well, I don't know how I will do going before work or after work. Like, I just don't know if I can hold myself accountable for that just yet. Not until I get into, like, a routine. But, like, I should definitely be able to go on my days off, you know. And he was saying that, the manager was saying to come in in the morning. Because I was telling him, like, I'm not a gym goer. I'm not, like, super confident walking into the gym because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I don't know where to go. Like, nothing. So... Um, yeah, he was like, just come in the morning because it's real dead. It's just an older crowd. Um, he was saying after work hours are like the when it's most busy. So he's like, if you want to, you can. But he's basically like, don't even bother if you are, you know, concerned about 
just like the anxiousness of being around a lot of people so that's the plan um yeah I'm a little excited so hopefully I can run off of this energy but now I think I'm gonna go to the store since it really didn't take long at all I was in there for maybe 15 minutes so I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some stuff and then I'll be back